Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and in this video I'm going to find out which Hearthstone card packs are the best ones to buy. The Old Wisdom says that when a new player starts Hearthstone they should be buying classic packs, because classic packs are evergreens, they never rotate out of the standard format, and that builds up a base for the new player to build from. But cards from the classic set have been rotating out of standard format every year to the Hall of Fame. So I wondered, does this really apply anymore? Is this true? Obviously the classic set has the advantage of being evergreen, in theory. But how much are classic cards actually being used right now? So there are really two considerations. One is how long will the cards remain in the standard format? Classic set remains forever. The most recent set now, Ashes of Outland, will remain in standard format for two years. And the other sets that are currently in standard format, Descent of Dragons, Saviors of Uldoom and Rise of Shadows will remain in it for one year now. So purely based on how long the cards are staying, the priority would be classic Ashes and then the other three sets. But how much do cards from various sets actually see play? In order to determine this, I went through every class and checked which cards are seeing most play in that class. Of course, this will change over time as the meta decks will change. So some cards become more popular, others go out of favor as the decks where they belong to become part of the meta or go out of the meta. However, by going through everything class by class, I believe that I can get a better picture than just going through what are the most popular cards overall in the meta, because that means that the popular classes get higher priority. And this also helps you if you want to play a specific class, then looking into, okay, so what sort of expansions are cards that this class is currently using coming from? So in this video, we'll take a brief look at all of the 10 classes, where are the cards that they use coming from, and then where are overall cards that are being used coming from, and therefore which packs you should buy. Demon Hunter as a new class consists mostly of its free cards, and then cards from Ashes of Outland. Not surprisingly, because that's the only expansion where there are Demon Hunter cards available. It uses only a few neutral cards, a couple from Descent of Dragons, a couple from Classic. But for Demon Hunter, it's mostly Ashes of Outland all the way. For Druid the spread is more even, it's using some cards from every expansion, and while Ashes of Outland is clearly the expansion where Druid uses the most cards, it still uses something from everywhere. Hunter, on the other hand, makes use of some Ashes of Outland cards, but Hunter still uses a lot of cards from Descent of Dragons. So for Hunter enthusiasts, Descent of Dragons is an expansion where you're going to get a lot of cards for your class. For Mage, it's clearly reflected that Mage decks are mostly Highlander decks. So Mage uses a very large number of legendary cards, and those legendary cards come from many, many expansions. Obviously, Saviors of Uldum for Zebris the Great, and Descent of Dragons for Dragon Queen Alex Straza are important part of the Mage toolkit. But Mage requires a very wide set of cards from several expansions. The main exception to this would be Spell Mage, which uses largely cards from Ashes of Outland. Paladin has had a bit of a hard time over the past year, and that's clearly reflected in common Paladin card choices. As a matter of fact, Paladin is currently using all of the cards that it got from Ashes of Outland, which makes Ashes of Outland by far the most used expansion for Paladin cards. The most popular Paladin deck right now is Murloc Paladin, so Murloc cards from all the expansions are seeing play in this class. As for Priest, the Resurrect Priest shell is still powerful, and the main cards of the Resurrect Priest shell were introduced in Saviors of Full Doom. So for Priest, that expansion remains relevant, although otherwise Priest is also using a lot of stuff from Ashes of Outland. Rogues still love their Galagrons, and Galagrond was introduced in Descent of Dragons, so Rogue makes heavy use of Descent of Dragons. Typically this Galagrond package is accompanied by one of the packages from Ashes of Outland, either Stealths or Secrets, so most Rogue cards that are currently seeing play come from these two expansions. The current most popular Shaman decks are either Galagrond decks, so Descent of Dragons, or they are Totem Shaman decks, and Totem Shaman decks have received support over the past year, so Ashes of Outland, Descent of Dragons, and Saviors of Old Doom are all relevant expansions for Shaman. 
The current meta warlock alternatives are mainly either some kind of discard zoo based on the new Ashes of Outland cards, or a Galagrond warlock, which is largely based on cards from Descent of Dragons. So these two expansions are the most relevant for warlock. The current warrior decks are egg warriors or bomb warriors, some control warriors. Control warrior decks can be kind of all over the place because they're often also highlander lists. So warrior makes use of pretty much all the expansions. When we put together all of these commonly used cards from all the classes and we cut all the duplicates like Galagron Synergy cards, neutral ones are used of course in many classes, so our Highlander, those Synergy Legendaries are used in many classes, we only count them once, then we come to a conclusion that usable copies of cards look something like this. So Ashes of Outland, there's around 38 common cards that see play. This takes into account that Highlander decks would run one copy, and other decks would run two copies of a specific common cards. So that's 38 common cards that you can actually open in packs. Not 38 different common cards. And other Rashes of Outland cards, 32 rares, 22 epics, 8 legendary cards. So by far the most cards that are seeing play right now are from the most recent expansion. It is closely followed by Descent of Dragons still though. 30 commons, 24 rares, 8 epics, 7 legendary cards. Saviors of Uldum is not seeing quite as much play, although there are lots of commons from Saviors of Uldum that do see play. 30 commons, but then only 8 rares, 11 epics, 2 legendary cards. And Rise of Shadows sees the least play, with 12 commons, 9 rares, 4 epics and 5 legendary cards. And Classic is seeing a moderate amount of play, 28 commons, 16 rares, 6 epics and 1 legendary card. So which pack should you buy? According to these numbers I actually would not be buying classic packs if I was a new player, because classic set is the largest set, there are most different cards in it, and yet it is not even seeing the most play. So even though they are evergreens, the power level of classic set has been going down over the years, and it's no longer the main recommended set to buy for a new player. In fact, the set that you should be buying the most is the latest one, Ashes of Outland. The most cards in that set see play, so when you open packs from that set, you're most likely to be able to get playable cards. It is quite closely followed by Descent of Dragons though, so you should diversify your purchases between Ashes of Outland and Descent of Dragons. Classic is the third most popular set, but because it's a larger set so you're less likely to get actually those playable cards, and you also get classic packs every week from Tavern Brawls. So the incentive to buy classic packs is lower because you're slowly accumulating classic set cards anyway. Then there is also some merit to buying Saviors of Uldum card packs, because Saviors of Uldum has a large number of good commons in it, and with the new duplicate protection so you don't get useless copies of cards, you get commons very quickly, you would get all the commons in a set for example in less than 30 packs. So buying some Saviors of Uldum packs to get some of those commons so that you don't have to craft them could also be a good idea. Whereas Rise of Shadows is very underwhelming at this time. Can all of this somehow translate into general advice that would be valid for all periods of time? Not completely, because of course the meta changes and situations change, but overall the latest expansions are typically quite good because Blizzard wants you to buy packs from those, so buying packs from the latest expansion would now be my main recommendation. Other than that you need to take a look at okay, which expansions were more powerful than others and have stood the test of time better and then decide whether you want to buy some packs from those as well. And I would generally avoid classic packs, because classic packs come by anyway from tavern brawls, from various rewards, and classic sets just isn't as popular as it used to be. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.